Look at all the funny textures. Hi everybody and welcome back! Yeah, Look well... Look at this! Well, if I'm lucky enough and my crew actually kills ten people, I should be fine. Oh <laughs> my gosh, I didn't think it was possible, but we have broken the game. Yep, I don't know how I did it, but I did it. We broke Assassin's Creed Rogue. Oh, this is an accomplishment. We should get a trophy for this. So, Look at I this. fell through. I don't know how I fell through. Oh As you my can gosh. See, it's just served. Uh, seizures. Well, like my people have killed two. I just gotta sit here and wait. This. this Come on, is guys! Crazy. Kill them! Kill! Kill them! This oh, I lost the guy. <laughs> defend! Yes, defend! Show wow. your captain. Pr make your captain proud. Wow, this is really showing up on the game capture. I love it. I'm trying to get out of the weird texture thing, and I'm just trying to swim and do something. Can I aim? This Can't do anything, can I? This you! Awesome. You up there! Open the hatch and throw me a ladder. Or a <laughs> rope. Or something. Help your captain. Yeah, help me with something. Well, at least they're killing people. That's a... That's a... Something. Yeah, it's one to four. So, wait, two I to four. Lost, uh, yeah, I lost two, so... Come on, guys. Kill. Shoot. Something. I don't know Anything! How. They seem to <laughs> be having trouble with that fifth person. Yep. Well, probably the captain's starting to come oh. out with the battle axes and everything. Right, okay, well, fun. this is going to be interesting. Whoa. Well, I can't do anything and just put watch, so let's get a close seat. Story yeah, that's about time. A, yeah, that's I'm about sorry, as far I, as you can get. I ate so I know, don't worry about it. But we have more snacks. And speaking of snacks, I hope you all have your snacks ready. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you did this. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Uh, but color me impressed. Um, All right, look. Seven, eight. Oh, we're on a roll now. Mm -hmm. I was just about to hear up a story. I'll tell it anyway. Um, so this past week, I had watched a... Uh, matter of fact, yesterday, when I wasn't sleeping, I was up watching a documentary called Please Subscribe. Which, for those of you who don't know, is, um, oh my god, a burst. Oh, and it's one of those burning bursts that sit in your chest. Huh. <sighs> the fire's getting closer. Um, but it was a documentary where, um, they charted, or they interviewed some of the YouTube personalities who were making a living off of YouTube. And it was very insightful, it was very cool. I highly suggest everybody go out and watch that documentary. It's called Please Subscribe. Um, Yay! They had the wheezy, wheezing waiter, wheezy waiter. I um, think that was his name. Mystery. Hey, look at teleport. Yeah, yeah. As soon as all the hard work is done, now mm -hmm. comes the captain. Yep. So let's where are you? Um, other dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the break. Uh, we were doing some slight remodeling. Yeah. Um. But they had wheezy waiter. Mr. Mysterious Guitar Guy. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that Mysterious Guitar Guy did um, uh, almost a live action three dimensional remake of uh, Super Mario World first level, where Super Mario was running across this wrecking shop. Really couldn't see how he did that. And um, the, I forgot what her name is, but she gets drunk and cooks in the kitchen. Uh. That's one uh, way to do things. Yeah. Um, All right, time to kill people. But those people were really cool, um, really informative about the YouTube process, expectation of how they started. Um, but there was one that got me. Right the bug. Um, and my gosh. I can't remember his name, but they showed some of his stats. And he's a guy with cerebral palsy. Hmm. And he travels the world doing very cool things. Um, like, you know, Anthony Bourdain's No Reservations? Yes. Well, it's something like that, uh, just to use a point of reference, where he goes around, oh, he, him and his two friends go around, and his two friends help him out. Like, they do stuff, like, if he can't get to a certain area, they'll pick him up out of his chair, carry him to that area. Very cool, very touching to watch. He went to a waterfall. He went to where Oysters Rockefellers made, he went to a weed shop, um, talked to the owners and, you know, 
it was inspirational not because he was a person with a disability doing something, but he was a person who was living out his dream and didn't let life didn't let his disability weigh him down or define him. Yeah. Um, because I think he had at one point uh, Oprah Winfrey had a contest um, and uh, the winner of said contest was going to get an opportunity to have uh, whatever dream show they wanted made yeah. for her own Oprah Winfrey's network Yeah. and he won overwhelmingly like 9 million or 9.1 million votes Yeah. but his show got cancelled and no one watched it but it was it was really cool to see um, that he was really charismatic and he had an indomitable spirit. Um, yep. So for anyone who knows, can For a second there, I thought that guy was gonna drop the barrel and throw Did it he at fold me. In half? Yeah, kind of. What? No. Yep. Wow. Please. Can the human body do that without shattering the water? Well, I did. Whoa! Whoa! Holy! What happened? Um, like a boss? <laughs> <laughs> what? what did I do? I don't know, but that was awesome. All of a, I was... <laughs> that's what I was afraid of what was going to happen, but all of a sudden I was like, boom, 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 and I'm like walking <laughs> from the... Like, like we're seeing an action movie. I was like, okay, then. So, um... Uh, we started out this episode on an extremely high note. All Somewhat, right. yeah. Um, um, mm hmm So, uh... uh yeah. <laughs> right. That was very interesting. Alright, let me get the treasure chest and stuff around here real quick, and then we'll go... To oh, your one has, level has been reset. Yay! Um, so no bounty hunters are coming after us anymore. Okay. For now. But, yeah, for those of you who haven't seen the documentary, it's called Please Subscribe... Go check it out. It's on Netflix. We are not sponsored by Netflix. But if Netflix wants to, we wouldn't fight it. No. Um, uh, wait, that guy reminds me of something. Huh. Uh, someone asked me, he's, he's like, have you ever once ever shattered someone's way of life? I'm like, what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have? Oh, who, me? No. No, oh. I'm talking about you. Oh, me? Yeah, I probably have. I just probably never <laughs> noticed it. But, um... He was talking about not like, you know, mind breaking or just like just changing someone's view on something that they thought they were always right about. Oh yeah, I've done that before, yeah. My, I think the one that I've done from that that I can think of was that um uh okay, what was that um I know before um Marshall came Eminem, he was um, with a he was with a rap group, but what was the rap group called again? D twelve. That was it, and he was three other but the, I missed it, really? Wow. <laughs> And he was like three other members. It was him, um, this guy named Proof. It was it was four members. It was him, this guy named Proof, uh, who died. Yeah. Um, oh, what is his name? Bizarre. Yeah, that was it. That was the fat one. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, it's like Caniva and somebody else. So there were there were it was a five man group. Yeah. But and yeah. And uh, he didn't believe me. Wait, he didn't believe that you knew? Uh, no, that was true. You know, with Marshall and everything. Oh, that he was a part of D12? Yeah. Well, yeah. that there was like a five people thing and he was three out of the five and then all this other weird stuff. Yeah. And I was like, no. Yeah. I said, yeah. Yeah. Before he was Eminem, he was a part of D12. No. And then also, I blew your mind a while ago with Black Holes. <laughs> yes. Can, can that... No, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just okay. saying Black Holes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you did. Um, but the, the, I guess the easiest one would be, well, the easiest one nowadays. Um, hello, can we get some chum? Yeah. Well, I'd like to, to be... go fishing. Okay, oh. there we go. Well then. What do you be needing um, today then? Is convincing somebody that, uh, in most cases, homosexuality is not a choice. And when I say most cases, I'm, I'm talking about the people who know, like, since they were, since from birth, since they were a child, that their sexual orientation was of that nature. Yeah. I'm not talking about the people who choose to go out and experiment because they're curious. That's the distinction. Yeah. Um, because, uh, I guess since, oh, there was, 
I, you know, I come into the show with so many things that I want to talk about, and then when we start rolling, my mind gets all muddled, and then we do stuff like break the game. Yeah. And I forget. Um, but amid all of the goings-ons with the um, civil rights movement for the LGBTQDSFV, however many letters they have now, yeah. um, community, uh, before... It was acceptable and before people actually started acknowledging homosexual people as human beings yeah uh, they did not believe that homosexuality was indeed something that was a part of somebody's nature yeah uh, well what always surprised me though was that um, people would actually sodomize people on the battlefield wait what yep no okay so you're gonna have to tell me this story now. <laughs> What? Um, yes, people, uh, I think it's, actually, probably from, it, I've, I'm trying to remember how long ago, but there was always been a form with what they would try to do was that, um, to dominate the show, that, that, I'm trying to how to word this exactly, but, okay, we'll just go like this. Let's mm. say that the Templars yeah. were fighting against uh, the assassins, and okay. then when they would win, and they they would uh, see one of their leaders after they defeated them, they he, they would bend them over and pretty much rape them. Butt sex, surprise, butt sex. What what in the butt? Yep. Let's go. Wait. And just you know just go at it. Wait. So you mean to tell me that during olden times, where there was no soap? When there was no water, when hygiene wasn't a priority, where you've been on the battlefield for weeks, if not months at a time, mm -hmm. without proper sanitation, that once you lost in battle, your smelly butt crack was fodder for another man's hard penis. Yep. And that other man wasn't considered gay. Nope. That was actually stupid. showing dominance over the enemy that is stupid that hey the other ones they would actually make them sexual <laughs> acts that you can commit i know that would just made me laugh uh oh whoa so what you mean another man's dirty smelly hairy butt crack was enough to get you hard and get you going that's what i've never understood i'm sorry i <laughs> know that's what surprised me too when i heard about this and like so whoa that one guy right there just i need to tell you a story all right yes Yes, Shade has a story now. Yeah. And it's something that constantly blows my mind. Okay. So, I was speaking to... I wasn't even speaking to a colleague at this point. It was... Who am I hello. calling? I don't know. I actually... Oh! Okay. Well, that's a, so, that's interesting. So, lighting the torch puts us back on the boat. I guess it calls the ship over. Okay. Oh, because I think I'm in a certain place that the ship doesn't want to be, so this makes it calls it to it. This is uh, the guy, I think. This is the guy? No, I guess not this guy. Well, one of the he's guys, the guy. he's someone who's supposed to, we can pay to get the bounty hunter, bounty hunters off our... He got the stuff. Yeah, but he does. Um, but yeah, so I was, I had walked in on a conversation between my colleagues. And here is the general gist of what the conversation was about. There was a guy, and he said, they were asking, you know, what would you do if... You came home and you caught your wife armor and sword. They spell it the English way. Is yeah. that the English way? Yeah, pretty much. They're putting you there, you know. Mm. Seems my life has an open book to you. Oh. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half drowned. I don't like I did not face. know who you were. Yeah. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Yep, my you're right. Yep. was furious. It was a risk, but I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. After getting shot, yeah. Colonel, yeah. The manuscript, why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Well, what? we were going to keep it away from sir, everybody in the beginning. I'm more of a target than you now. Mm. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village. And French troops have already entered our territory. Have yep, really. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. Huh. 
All right, let's try to kill two birds with one stone. Right, so we're going to do that. Look at his face. I didn't even notice the health bar. He has a scar over his face now. Mm -hmm. That's adorable. Not that I mean to call another grown man adorable, but... Yeah. All right, so we got to... The mascara fits. (laughs) The mascara fits. So we got to locate the British army and then... Uh, locate the native village. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go see how the natives live. That doesn't sound like it's a good idea. Nope. But okay. Oh, right. Um. One oh. more thing. Before we engage on that mission, um, I didn't realize the last time that we had played because some time passes in between our episodes because we do them a bunch at time. Um. But the guy, the the guy, yeah, him, um, from the last episode where we left off, I didn't realize that he had his face burned um, when uh, Connor Kenway, uh, oopsie, my bad, come Che, yeah, when Che Shay. shot the barrel. Mm-hmm. I was slowly going backwards. I was getting it. Um, I thought he was just in such a rage to get to him that he was like slightly losing his mind. No, his face was burned. He lost an, I think he lost an eye. Well, it looked like it. He's pissed. That's mainly why he's pissed at us. Yeah. So yeah, he's very angry with us. And I'll continue my story in the next episode. I'm sorry I ran out of time, but I promise the next episode I will jump right into it because I think this will be an entertaining story for all. Mm-hmm. I think you've heard it already, but I don't think I love the music in the audience have, so. Yeah. We'll have to take it. Yeah. Oh, they're talking. We'll need all the help we can muster. Muster goes good on hot dogs. So let's take an epic pause as soon as we get to the... the natives call that yep. Get them along! That's all same! Whee! Whoop, whoop. All <laughs> right. <Points. laughs> so yeah, let's take an epic pause here. Thank you so much for joining us as we break the game and show everybody that Ubisoft has new polls. Yeah, well, everyone does. Yes, but I love Ubisoft as a company. If they would like to send us Assassin's Cloaks, I won't fight that either. That too. Yeah. So, I am Shay. I'm the Mad Hatter. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.